Esther chapter 4. Esther and Mordecai confer. So Esther's maids and her chamberlains came and told it her. Then was the queen exceedingly grieved, and she sent raiment to clothe Mordecai and to take away his sackcloth from him, and he received it not. Then called Esther for Hatash, one of the king's chamberlains, whom he had appointed to attend upon her, and gave him a commandment to Mordecai to know what it, what it was and why it was. So Hatash went forth to Mordecai unto the street of the city, which was before the king's gate, And Mordecai told him of all that had happened unto him and of the sum of the money that Haman had promised to pay to the king's treasuries for the Jews to destroy them. And he gave him the copy of the writing of the decree that was given at Shushan to destroy them, to show it unto Esther and to declare it unto her and to charge her that she should go unto the king to make supplication unto him and to make requests before him for her people. And Hatash came and told Esther the words of Mordecai. Again Esther spake unto Hatash, and gave him commandment unto Mordecai, all the king's servants and the people of the king's provinces. Do know that whosoever, whether man or woman, shall come unto the king into the inner court, who is not called, there is one law of his to put him to death, except such to whom the king shall hold out the golden scepter, that he may live. But I have not been called to come in unto the king these thirty days. And they told to Mordecai Esther's words.